I started off as an undergraduate student here in the School of Biomedical Engineering, taught a whole module by Professor Raymond Gosling. He was the PhD student of Rosalind Franklin, who famously took photograph 51. That led to the discovery of the structure of DNA. So being in that sort of environment where you have these minds actually teaching you, I mean, obviously it's, it's life-changing. Biomedical engineering is the future of medicine. Any advancement in medicine, it's happened because of biomedical engineering. My passion for biomedical engineering actually started when I was in high school. I came across these prosthetics made for people who actually needed, or at least were missing limbs. This is where engineering and medicine, which are both my passions, somehow came into this harmonizing place. At the core of what we do is integration of our undergraduate students into our research. They are actually contributing to the discoveries that will eventually happen. One of our specialties is fetal imaging. Clinical care is going to change because of Professor Mary Rutherford, who is actually doing consultations for NHS to actually diagnose abnormalities better with a beautiful 3D image. And really, the future is putting it together with biology and with genetics, improve people's life. And that's what I love about my job. If you want to go into cell and tissue engineering, synthetic anatomy, robotics, AI, all these really new and futuristic kind of topics, you can go into those from this degree. If you look back at the rate at which the technology has advanced, it's just exp it's exponential. Five years down the line, we could see people walking around with robotic legs. This is what you can do with this knowledge. We're looking at what will happen next. How can we affect these young minds to be the next world leaders, to be the next person that takes the photograph 51?